what Midnight Muse is here, and today we are doing the regular BoxyCharm box today. Um, I did do the premium last week. I forgot to make a post about it for like a week after I'd already uploaded it, so I'm doing that today, so maybe I'll wait a day or two. I can't edit this today anyway because I'm trying to film this before I go to work, which is what I think I did last time too, which not necessarily the smartest thing I've ever done, but here we are trying it again. Um, anyways, so there's a couple things that I'm not going to try in this video, but I'll try on my own and then come back at you and let you know how it worked. Um, for example, the facial radiance pads, which help to exfoliate, tone, and brighten. I have already toned my face. These are by First Aid Beauty. I've already toned my face and these don't have ingredients on them. So I want to look up the ingredients before I try it. So I don't want to put it on on camera and then possibly get a really bad reaction and then be stuck. Um, especially since I do have to work all day. The other thing I'm not going to try right now is the Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. Um, which is these guys here. Um, just because, again, I have no makeup on my face right now. I'm about to put makeup on. I have no need for that. So, I'm actually going to start off using the same moisturizer that I got in the Boxy Premium <clears throat> last week as my first item. Well, not really my first item, but... I am still loving this so much. It still has like the weirdest consistency where it goes on. It's super soft. It's very like stringy, but it feels really, really good. And then when it dries down, it just kind of, I don't know, it makes my skin just feel really nice. It's smooth. It's not tight, but it does feel a little bit firmer and I have been absolutely loving it also it dries down really fast so it's not like you have to, you put it on and then you have to wait like five minutes to see results of it so that's good um i am also sitting in a different spot today because i took apart my bed and so now i'm sleeping on my box spring and mattress on the floor which is actually fine because my bed's been broken for honestly the bed frame has been broken for years so I'm quite happy for it. I'm also going to keep using the um, Tarte Double Duty Beauty, the uh, base tape, um, as my primer. Let me throw some of that on. But it does also mean that I can actually film, like, right in front of my makeup table, which is really nice. And I'm low enough that, because I have just a very, like, tiny kind of, like, attached to your table ring light and... Uh, camera stand so I'm low enough that I can still be in frame without everyone just like staring up like this at me so I am actually really happy with the setup it's made my bed so much more comfortable because I'm not sleeping on a bed where I'm worried that if I move the wrong way it's going to be that final bad movement and the thing comes crashing down so it's good lots more stuff to organize and clean up because I didn't have the most amount of stuff under my bed but I did have stuff under there Anyway, it's time to get into the next two items that I have in here. Um, so first off, I got the Alomar Cosmetics, the face brush set. Um, this is for bronzer, it says. I don't know if I'm going to use it for bronzer. I kind of want to use it more for like my foundation because this is the foundation brush it came with. I ha honestly hate these for foundations. Or Sorry, never mind. Maybe this is a highlighting brush. Maybe this is just, like face brushes. What's this one? complexion brush oh never mind this is the foundation brush it's on an angle so I'm kind of all right I will try it and then to go along with trying that I will try the Becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation which is this guy here and they sent it to me in linen so let's see how that goes also I'm going to be trying a whole new editing setup again for this time around because I know last time I was able to speed up with it but I was still editing on my phone which is something that I really don't like doing because I don't have the time to and it was really problematic because I ended up leaving late for Sean and by the time I got back from doing all of that and picking him up it was honestly like just shy of 6 a.m. in the morning I can't do that I go to bed at like 10 o'clock at night so that's just sorry, I'm trying to you know you gotta let it get up and through come on you can do it. There we go. All right. Let's see. Oh, wow, that is... They were not joking about the full coverage. I feel like this is a foundation that I would mix with, like, a moisturizer or something to kind of tone it. It's just literally putting a whole layer of cake on. I am not going to need 
any kind of concealer with this. I didn't even get like a full pump onto the brush and I'm already like more than halfway done covering my face. That is holy. That's coverage. It does match. I know it's hard when there's like the lights, especially since I have a light behind me now, which is I think the only annoying thing. It's going to be much easier to film when the sun goes down because my curtains don't fully cover my windows. So there's no kind of, if there's daylight, you're going to see it. So I'll probably start trying to film later in the evenings, but for now it'll do. I look a little bit yellow on camera, <clears throat> but it is just on camera. I have my usual pinky skin that I can see in the mirror right in front of me, but it does match. It's blending down my neck. You're not seeing any like weird lines or anything. It just, it's a lot more full coverage than I thought, but you know what? At least if you use just a tiny bit, you can really spread it around. So I do like that. Whew, man, that's really full coverage. Like Insta Ghost right there. Like, look at that. That's just blank canvas. And like, I know I have lights on, but like before I put this foundation on, you could still see some dimension in my face. All gone now. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and then going right into the next one, we have the uh, coconut setting powder. Is there a brush for that? Brightening blush, bronzer blush. Uh, I'll just use one of my normal powder brushes for that. Sorry, I think I hit the camera. Um, I did just take out the, you know, that little thing that you got to pull out from this, but I didn't actually try it. It's by, oh, it's by Ciate London. It's called Everyday Vacay. And it's a coconut setting powder and it does smell like coconut. That's actually why I ripped off the little thing. Cause I want to be like, does this really smell like coconut? I couldn't smell it at first, but then I could, it is more of like a classic kind of like white powder. Like there's not really, there's like the barest hint of color in it. So I don't know if it'll have flashback or not. I mean, I don't really take flash photos of myself, so I'm not super concerned about that. It feels nice. It actually made my makeup look a lot smoother, which is nice because I was feeling a little bit cakey because I'm not used to so much full coverage. So that's nice. I like that. Okay. Let me put that back. I've got like little bits of powder all over me. All right. So I will try the bronzer. Can we just turn my little guy around? I have a little like organized like rotating lazy susan but like a shelf version version for a bunch of my makeup I'm still using the pretty vulgar bronzer as usual all right let's see what this does oh wow that's like very much a like all over bronze kind of thing okay this is a brush that would I would need to get used to it. I still think that I might like it better as a foundation brush. It has these weird little bumps in it. I don't understand what their purpose is. I mean, it is spreading out the bronzer in like the fastest way. And I can't say that it doesn't look nice because it absolutely does. It just really is like kind of instantly blending it. But I mean, I so far really loved everything that I've tried from Alomar Cosmetics. I like what this one too is you can kind of like add a little bit more, but it's not like sitting in one spot. And I do find that with the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer, which I'm really starting to run out of now, that um that is something that is prone to happening. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into the Hourglass blush because it's, like it doesn't look like much. It really doesn't, but it is absolutely beautiful. I really, really, really love it. It's not too much, but it does add a really like nice warmth to the skin. So I really like it for that. Yeah, that's pretty. And I feel like I can really like load it up too. 
and it never looks like too much. Like I can just sit here uh, putting on blush and I'm not even like really tapping off. I'm just like loading it up and like you can see it, but it just looks so healthy on the skin. It's so lovely. All right. And then into my usual highlight, which is over here. I'm going to still use the Ofra, the Star Island. And I will use the last brush, the brightening brush, because I assume brightening brush would be the highlight brush, though it looks like an old school foundation brush. But yeah, no, it adds it nicely, which is nice. I have actually been trying to soften the Ofra highlights a little bit because they are just so in your face. So this is really just adding it in a way where it's not like in your face. So I do actually really, really like that. So that is my boxy charm. So I'm going to quickly throw on the rest of my makeup. Um, I will see if I can do the whole like speed up thing again. Um, hopefully it works with the new program that I'm going to try later. and I'm back I have my makeup on I just did the one color from the Carity palette that I got the piquant palette and um, now I'm gonna do a lippy this is actually from my ipsy but I got two um, lipsticks in my ipsy so might as well use one today since I didn't get one in my boxy so this is by colored rain and this is their matte lip paint 24 7 oh the color is called 24 7 so this is what the packaging looks like and this is the color. It does go darker as it dries down. I've already worn it a couple times. I've actually been bringing it to work with me. I really, really like it a lot. And then I figured it would match the eyeshadow, which is why I changed my mind on what eyeshadow I was doing because I was doing a very like brown color. And this is brown, but it has a little bit of warmth to it. So I just wanted to make it a little bit warmer and a little bit slightly pinkier because I do still have a little bit of pink in my hair from Valentine's. But that didn't work out very well. But I used a brand that I know doesn't work for me. Because everyone loves Wella. Because it's a pro brand. But I don't know, it doesn't like my hair. Well, it's kind of like manic panic in my hair where you put it in, it looks like it's going to be super cool, and then you wash your hair, and then you look in the mirror, and you're like, oh yeah, okay, there's nothing left, that's cool. So, I don't know why. Because it works on so many people, and it looks so nice. But, on me? No. I mean, I like how my hair looks, but I use like a dark mauve and a light pink. The light pink, which is right here, that's all that somehow stayed. But, like, the dark mauve, clean out of my hair. It just looked like I had, like, bits of, like, light pink throughout my hair. I don't know what happened with that. But, anyways, we're not here to talk about my hair, which I have pinned up anyway, so you can barely see it as is. We are here to talk about this month's regular box, BoxyCharm, which is... Oh, this guy here. Don't forget to throw in my little added guys. All together, now that we've kind of opened everything and been through it, it looks a little bit of a mess. Got to organize it and add it to the collection on the table. Um, I actually do think I might give those makeup wipes to my mom because she was really interested in them. And that's one thing she really does use on a regular basis. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me, watching this with me. I really love this color. It's like bringing out my eyes in a really nice way. Um, so I really like that. Um... But I hope you're all doing well. Um, as I said, I will slowly update as I go. I just, I don't have very much time right now. I do have to quickly finish getting ready for work and run out the door. Um, hopefully I will have this edited as soon as I can. And um, I do have 
my Ipsy to go through and do the whole unboxing and try on as well. So I'm going to try to film that as soon as I can as well, just so that even if I just have videos that I have to edit, you know, I can do that in my free time, which for me is a little bit easier at this point because I now have another device that I can edit with. Um, so if it's at night and I have like 10 minutes, you know, I can work on it or whatever, whereas like the time to actually sit and film is difficult because it's either got to be done quickly before work or when people aren't home so there's not a lot of like background noise or someone's not sleeping on the other side of the wall. So really looking forward to when Sean and I get our own place so I can just like film when I want to as I need to. Um, but you know, goals, working towards them, working hard. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit like. If you want to see more of me, please hit subscribe. As I said, I am trying very hard to make sure that I have at least one video up once a week. I had one up um, at the very, very end of Valentine's, kind of early on the 15th because I had a little bit of editing issues, um, but I got it up. So I do plan on having this one up before the end of this week. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, bye.